Hey, it's Tanner Shuck from TrueStrength.co, and today I'm gonna to show you how to master the ultimate test of fitness, the 2,000 meter row. I'll give you detailed tips and strategies, then I'll perform a 2K so you can see exactly how to do it in real time. The 2,000 meter row is arguably the greatest fitness test of all, as it will push you to your absolute limits both physically and psychologically. A true test of fitness forces you out of your comfort zone until you reach the point where your mind tells you to quit. That's when you gotta dig deep and push through. You need to reach your breaking point, that's the first step and only way to reach your true fitness potential. The reason I love the 2K row is that it tests strength, stamina, and sheer will. The 2K row not only reveals character, but builds it. This test will help instill the mental fortitude that will help you achieve any goal or overcome any obstacle that life may throw at you. The best part, anyone can do it. It doesn't matter if you're an elite athlete, special forces in the military, or just an average gym goer. Anyone with two arms and two legs can row. All you need is a Concept2 rower and the right mindset. The 2K row is such a great test of overall fitness because there's no way to cheat. 2,000 meters is 2,000 meters. You can't sandbag or do half-ass reps. The rowing monitor is both unbiased and unrelenting, giving you instant feedback of your splits, time, and distance. Basically what I'm trying to say is there's no place to hide. The only way to go faster or gain an advantage is to push yourself harder. So now that we've covered why the 2K row is such a perfect test of fitness, let's cover some important tips and strategies so you can PR your 2K row. But before we go any further, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. The setup. First things first, let's get your setup on the machine right. Here's our checklist. First, clean the slide, check the chain and fan, and make sure the monitor is functioning properly. Trust me, there's nothing worse than starting a rowing workout only to discover you have a faulty machine. Then. Set the drag factor. Go to main menu, more options, set drag factor. Take a few strokes, then adjust the damper accordingly. A good rule of thumb is to set the drag factor between 130 and 135 for men and 125 to 130 for women. Next, get your feet set and make sure the strap is over the balls of your feet. And then finally, stabilize the machine with weights if needed so you can avoid the machine moving and any loss of power. The warm up. A proper warm-up is essential to a successful 2K row and should not be overlooked. Make sure you're good and sweaty before you start the 2K and have dialed in your race pace. I generally recommend 3 to 5 sets of 20 strokes starting slow and gradually building up to your race pace. Mindset. I would consider this the most important factor in the 2K row. Remember, this test is just as much mental as it is physical. Have a race plan. Do not just go into this 2K blindly. I repeat, have a plan. The 2K done correctly should be one of the most challenging and humbling physical tasks you ever do. And without a plan, this test will knock you on your ass. Just know beforehand, this is gonna hurt. Have the courage to fight through, especially when it gets tough in the last 500 meters. The race plan. The best way to row a 2K is to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. And to do that, you need to have the fastest average speed. Remember, there are no prizes on who can reach the 500 meter or 1000 meter mark first. The only thing that matters is who can reach the 2,000 meters the fastest. And if you want to do that, you need to have a plan. Now I'm going to cover my race plan that allowed me to maintain the best average speed for 2,000 meters. I must also give credit to Dr. Cam Nickel from Rowing Wad. He has tons of great rowing content and I learned this strategy from him. You can subscribe to his channel here. Now I'm going to show you my race plan and how I would row a 2K. Here's your distance and then here's your speed. It's super important to start fast. Do the first 20 to 30 strokes as hard and as fast as possible to bring your average speed down as much as possible. Then, once you reach around the 300 meter mark, you want to start gradually dropping down into your race pace. Your race pace, that's the speed where you're going to do the majority of the work of the 2K. Generally, it's going to be around 2 to 4 seconds slower than your target average speed. So at the 500 meter mark, settle into your race pace and race rate. Then you want to hold your race pace for the next 750 meters or so. Once you reach the 1250 meter mark or you have 750 meters remaining, then I want you to think about turning the screw. That's a cue I learned from Cam Nickel again. And that just means you want to drop your speed down just one or two seconds. Do not empty the tank yet. Do not sprint for home. You will blow up. Turn the screw and start bringing your average speed down again. Once you reach the 1500 meter mark or you have 500 meters remaining, then think about turning the screw again and drop the speed down even more, one or two seconds. 
okay? It will be challenging, but you just have to push through it. Then, once you reach the 1700 meter mark, I want you to do 10 hard, long, full length strokes. Just count strokes of 10 and dig deep. You have to be brave right here. That's gonna bring your average speed down even more. So you notice you're kind of building and building your speed. Then finally, once you reach 1900 meters or the final 100 meters of the race, then shorten your slide, do four sets of three hard and fast strokes to build as much speed as possible until you finish the 2K. So I'm just gonna give a brief recap of everything we just covered. Remember, start fast, bring your average speed down as much as possible. Then settle into your race pace over the next 750 meters. Once you reach the 1250 meter mark, build your speed, drop it one to two seconds. And then once you reach the 1500 meter mark, build your speed again. And then for the remaining of the race, just start climbing and climbing and climbing, empty the tank as much as possible and finish strong. Now you're gonna see me row at 2K. All right, now it's time to hit the 2K row. I'm joined today again by my accountability partners, Ant Haynes, and Jake Henry. Actually, we're each other's accountability partners. So we're gonna hit a 2K as fast as we can. I've trained up for this. These guys have already worked out multiple times a day, but they're joining me because they're legends and I'm super thankful for them. Either way, all I know is this is gonna be a really good workout. That's the worst thing that's gonna happen. It's gonna be a good workout. 2K row for time. Okay. Make sure to start your 2K fast and row the first 200 to 300 meters hard at a high stroke rate to bring down the average as low as possible. At around the 300 meter mark, gradually settle into your race pace, which should be two to three splits slower than your desired 2K average. Stay calm and maintain your race pace until you hit the 1,250 meter mark. With 750 meters remaining, turn the screw and increase your speed one to two splits over the next 250 meters. With 500 meters remaining, fight through the pain and turn the screw again to bring your average down even more. Then with 300 meters remaining, just empty the tank and finish strong. That's as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Oh God. Guys, thank you. Seriously. Hold on. My bum cheeks. I wish more people could feel the sensations I'm feeling right now. More people need to know. Man, I just crushed my goal though. Super happy about that. I'm f so as you saw, I achieved my goal of a sub 630 row with a final time of 626.9. I'm super proud of this as this was a long time goal of mine and I look forward to getting this even faster in the future. So if you wanna test your mental strength as much as your physical strength and get more fit than ever, make sure to check out my six week 2K row program available at truestrength.co or in the description below. This is the exact rowing program I use to take off over seven seconds on my 2K row. There's one weekly rowing session with an extra optional session and I guarantee you PR your 2K row with this program or your money back. 
Well, that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments below and what topics you want to see me cover in the future. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video. Remember, don't just be strong, be truly strong. See you guys in the next one.